Holby is introducing a new electronic eligibility option for providers to quickly access patient benefits. Electronic eligibility allows the provider to quickly verify eligibility for participating payers real time. Whether it is a new year with an established patient's upcoming appointment just around the corner, or a new patient verifying benefits, the provider now has the option to check benefits electronically. Electronic eligibility is easy to use. Access an existing verification record for the desired patient under the Verifications tab. Access the View option in the right-hand Action column. Within the insurance verification record, the provider will note the new electronic eligibility verification section. To execute an electronic request, first verify the payer information contains an electronic payer ID matching the payer listed for this particular patient. Simply click the payer control to open the search function and enter the patient's payer name. For best results, keep the search simple, looking for abbreviations where possible or just the first portion of the insurance company name. Many payers will have individual state IDs. For example, the search for BCBS will enlist numerous states with the appropriate abbreviation. Given the number of insurance payers and individual state plans, it may be necessary to adjust your search or scroll the results to locate the specific entry. Next, select the provider on the right side. For offices with multiple providers, you only need to run eligibility for one provider. The best choice is usually the provider who has been enrolled with the practice for some time. This generally translates to the provider who has been enrolled with most of the state's insurance carriers. Practices with a new provider just onboarding should select a provider with the greatest tenure for the best chance of having completed enrollment with most of the payers. NPI number will be listed directly below the selected provider. If by chance the provider has not established an NPI number, then it is best to choose another provider or simply change the entity type to group. Entity type will default to an individual and is rarely necessary to change unless the provider is enrolled under a larger group practice. Generally, this option is best to leave as individual. Simply press verify eligibility to initiate the request to the payer. Assuming the information provided for the patients, including date of birth, policy, and insurance data are correct, generally the payer will locate the patient benefits and return completed successfully within mere moments. Holby will attempt to open a second tab with the response automatically. Be sure to allow pop-ups when prompted to allow Holby to display the response page. You may also access the last response using the last response view option in the lower left, which will open the response in a new tab. Click on the View icon to open eligi the eligibility response. Here are a couple example responses. The response will contain benefits if the patient benefits are available electronically. If for any reason there is an error obtaining the benefit details, the response will contain the detailed reason for the lack of benefits returned near the bottom of the page. It may be necessary to scroll to the very bottom to locate the error. In this particular case, this is a valid response. However, if you do encounter an error, usually this will revolve around a few different things. The first might be that the payer or this particular provider is not enrolled with the payer. The wrong payer may have been chosen when establishing the actual um, criteria for the verification or eligibility request. And it may also be that the patient supplied invalid data, such as the date of birth or policy number, all of which could be changed and another verification initiated if necessary. Near the bottom of the response page when you open, you will find a series of tabs, Summary View, Detailed View, and Custom View. Summary will provide a breakdown of more, more common benefits for ambulatory medicine and any specifics or benefits specific to the provider's specialty. It's also to find common 
benefit information related to office visits here as well. The detailed section will provide all the benefits returned and a full list which may be scanned through. The custom view generally provides the quickest means to locate the specific benefit information. The view provides quick filters to isolate the specific benefit details required on the left-hand side. For example, a patient is returning for the new year and we simply want to identify if the coverage remains active for this year. We would choose the custom view and locate the filter on the left under the service types for health benefit plan coverage. This will filter the information and results found on the right hand side and usually within the first page you will find the current active coverage status. Here we can see the status active coverage. It is important to note that when running eligibility that the active status pertains to the specific date upon which these benefits were requested. The active status relates directly to the request date on which we just executed the request. You may also note individual deductible amounts, remaining amounts, co-payments, etc. The filters also provide quick access to specific benefits when provided, such as office and chiropractic visits. Here's another payer example. Again, note the active coverage status and additional information, limitations, deductible, out-of-pocket, various other information that may be required, also helpful during your benefits verification. Payer responses vary based on the payer, so not every response will read the same for different payers. The filters are provided to help navigate and manage the data returned. You may close the response tab when complete to return to the verification record. Once the benefits are returned, you may always return to the verification to see the last benefits returned for this patient using the view option. Holby also provides the eligibility tab on the far left, where providers can review history for multiple responses within the practice. This concludes our introduction to electronic verification of benefits.